Hey there guys, welcome back to the Micro YouTube channel. I'm reviewing an LED grow light by a company called Kingbright. Kingbright have been on the market for a long, long time. I know this because way back when, it's like nearly nine years ago, I started making DIY LED grow lights with cobs and I used to get my Bridge Lux Vero 29s, for anybody who remembers them, from, uh, from Kingbright. And they've been going a long time. They were supplying uh, a lot of lights to the uh, DIY guys back in the day, uh, LEDs and components. And they've been building um, LED grow lights ever since. And they've got a new range out now, which is uh, these guys here, which I'm going to review for you today. So let's have a closer look. So this is their X55 800 watt series full spectrum grow light and it has LM, Samsung LM301H LEDs, so really high-end white LEDs, and they combine them with 660 nanometer deep reds, along with UVA LEDs and also far red LEDs. So you really are getting that broad, wide spectrum with this light. I tested the spectrum output with the Sensitec Passport Spectre Radiometer, and you can see the um, broad spectrum of light, along with those bumps in the spectrum in the UVA range, the um, deep red range, and also that far red, uh, bringing it right out up to 730, 740 nanometers. It's an eight bar, 800 watt fixture. Each bar, obviously 100 watts approximately. You got, uh, you get, they are assembled, so each bar is screwed in at the end here onto these uh, channels running at either end. The driver is mountable on the back, although you can also mount it remotely. It clips in here. It's a really high quality 800 watt Inventronics driver, so really high end, high efficiency driver. And each of the LED bars then, uh, they daisy chain together and uh, you just connect them all up. Also got your driver, or sorry, your driver dimming unit. Um, with onboard dimming here, you can dim up and down smoothly from 10 to 100%. You've also got daisy chaining capability for up to 40 units at a time, so you can control up to 40 units simultaneously. It's hung on four separate hangers. The uh, unit is foldable, um, so you can fold it up, but it hangs nice and easily on its uh, four hangers. A recommended hanging height of two foot or 60 cent centimeters over the plant canopy and a recommended area of five foot by five foot or 1.5 by 1.5 meters. So I dropped it into the test area at its recommended hanging height and in a five by five. Test area represents a, a typical grow tent application. So you got your silver diamond uh, mylar walls. And as I said, at two feet, above the, uh, the test area, or 60 centimeters, and took a total of 100 power measurements with the EPAR sensor by Apogee, which measures from 400 all the way up to 750 nanometers. So it captures those, uh, those far red photons from the, um, the far red LEDs on this fixture. The average, or sorry, the um, consumed power from the fixture was 787 watts uh, and it delivered an average power of 781 micromoles and a nice even spread across that 5x5 five five or 1.5 by 1.5 meter area. This delivers a system efficiency of 2.3 micromoles per watt or usable PPF per watt which is a really good efficiency level uh, especially at this price which you can see if you click the link below um, you can order them direct from Alibaba. You have a big wide range of lights. Um, so you can order one pretty much for any size of grow area that you have. And uh, as I said, I've been dealing with them for a long time. So you can, um, you can be assured that they're a good, good service company and uh, you know, will deliver what they say they will do. So I hope you enjoyed. If any questions or comments, please leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Take care.